Deborah Myberg, and I'm with David Rosso of Giovanni Rosso, which is a, a beautiful winery in the Piemonte region. Mm. Uh, you're actually from Serra Lunga. Absolutely. And uh, Serra Lunga is the, uh, the, the era, the village where the soil is most calcareous, where you know, the villas of Barolo, you know. And so the, calcareous, how else can you describe calcareous? Ah, uh, yes, the so with this soil, with big quantity of calcare, it is uh, incredible because we this they have the wine that they have possibly to mature for 30, 35 years in bottle for a long, long time. Yeah. Why do you think the soil affects the maturation period of the wine? <laughs> ah, yeah, uh, because the, the, qua the quality of mineral that they have in the soil uh, go at the wine uh, one uh, particular energy uh -huh. and one particular structure to resist in the time you have a one low maturing yeah. And you're always working with Nebbiolo grape variety. Do you get tired of Nebbiolo? But ne Nebbiolo is, uh, is uh, the, the, the king of the, of the grape of this era. No? And uh, we work 100% with Nebbiolo. And uh, this Nebbiolo is fantastic because it's very particular, uh, wonderful tanning, wonderful structure, good acidity. And uh, we use the Nebbiolo for uh, Barolo and uh, also for the Langue de Biolo. Langue de Biolo is the really second vein of, uh, of Barolo and uh, is very interesting. First wine, the top wine is Barolo and second vein is Langue de Biolo. The Langue. Yes. Okay. And how many villages can produce Barolo? They have uh, 11 villages. Uh -huh. yes. And your favorite villages? Absolutely so. <laughs> because it's my village. Barolo is quite a tough, tannic wine, especially when young. So what kind of food do you serve with it? Here in Hong Kong, this is my second trip in Hong Kong, the Chinese food is perfect because the Chinese cuisine is very rich, it's incredible. And uh, for me, it's one a wonderful surprise, this. But uh, usually, it's also for Italian cuisine, uh, with the meat, uh, etc. Barolo is perfect. People often serve Barolo with white truffle. Why does that work? This is one tradition that they have in, in our area. They have a truffle of Alba and, uh, and Barolo. This is incredible. Uh, the, the truffle with the, the tayarine, you know, the pasta with egg of, uh, of Alba, of Piemonte, and uh, with Barolo is uh, uh, one food and drink uh, for the king. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and what are some of the challenges of working with Nebbiolo variety? Uh, the challenge uh, work is not easy work with Nebbiolo, absolutely, because it's one uh, vine very complex to work. It's necessary big attention in the vineyard, absolutely, and uh, uh, many, many work, big, big quantity of work with the hand, very artisanal process uh, in the vineyard, and in plus, uh, for in a uh, my uh, vinery is on your also we don't use for example the chemical deserve we expect uh, at 100% the soil and the wine and this is very important for my opinion so you have a passion for the cars so yeah. cars cars or wine <laughs> cars and wine yes um, I think uh, this is one uh, really artisanal wine uh, uh, make with big attention, etc. Absolutely, the, the Italian car, like uh, the top car, like Maserati or Ferrari, uh, the, the work that built this car is one hard, mm. like uh, make uh, this prestigious wine. Well, to the Maserati and Ferrari of wines, then. And thank, you, thank you very much. <laughs>